Ethereum has decided to leave proof of work and at the time of this recording hasn't really done much before falling with the entire market down to about 1300 US dollars. Now since this merge there has been a ton of speculation as to where all of this hash power will go and will it oversaturate the current projects. Now critics have said there aren't enough rewards left to make it worth it but I want to show you guys today how to use your GPUs for a passive income play on Binance. Binance. Now before giving up mining, I'm going to show you how to put your old GPUs to work just like I do behind me right now and we're going to do this inside Binance pools. With a few easy steps, you can connect your GPU to Binance and start earning crypto back passively. Now for me, I've started earning ETC hash, but you can experiment with any that are offered on Binance here. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over what Binance pools are, what you guys can earn by putting your hash power to work and of course at the end of the video I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. Now if that interests you make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. I am doing a Gleam giveaway with over $2,700 going to some of my lucky subscribers so make sure to check the link out down below. Now quick disclaimer here guys this is not financial advice so please go out and do your own research before diving into any of these investment portfolios. But without further ado, let's dive into my computer and begin. All right, guys, if you do not have a Binance account yet, I do have a referral code down in my description. You do get quite a bonus because I am able to offer these rewards to my subscribers. So once we are inside Binance here, you can find it under earn. If you go earn and hit the Binance pool, you get to the inside here. This is currently your dashboard. Now we can see that I have set up an account, but you will have to do so on your end. It is very easy. You just click the steps to open your own Binance pool account. Very simple, but let's first talk about what it is. So they do have a full frequently asked questions page, and this is where I did most of my learning in order to get this set up and where you guys might have to dive into in order to troubleshoot some certain aspects if you can't get it along with me. But talking about the actual pool here, it's a dedicated platform to improving the income of miners. Now it provides mining services to users with a focus on proof of work and proof of stake, but it takes full advantage in technology, capital and exchange business, industry resources and other areas in order to offer its users not only the ultimate mining experience, but also a one-stop hub for mining trading services. So they talk about having ultra high earnings inside the pool, leader in technology, top-notch service, and a sound ecology. Now it starts getting into some of the addresses and fees, and this is where the complicated part gets. And we will get to there in a second, but continuing our exploration of what it actually takes. Now inside the platform, they promote that it is secure and transparent, and I will also agree with that. It is just like any of their other arms in the platform, very secure. You need a lot of factor authentications in order to log in, which I do like seeing, protects my investments. So there's also steady earnings using their models as well as a comprehensive service. So many things to look forward to inside this pool. Now, if you wanna take a look at some of the rewards, just hit this down arrow here and you can see some of of the payouts, some of the mining fees, the settlement method, and yesterday's yield. Now that's for Bitcoin, but I myself am going into ETC hash, and we can see that inside here as well. Litecoin looks like it's even doing a doge reward as of the filming today. Now you can also look up where your earnings go and how are the earnings calculated. As we can see here, it is quite technical and broken down, but more or less, you're able to use your hash power to get a fraction of the rewards. So by leaving your computer on overnight, mining in these pools, you may get some crypto. Now, as I mentioned, there's a huge fact page, and this is where I answered a lot of my own questions. There is everything to understand from how to choose your mining machine, what kind of miners are most profitable, what if you have problems, and etc. etc. Dive in to this page if you have more questions that I do not answer in this video. All right, so let's dive into the actual dashboard, the platform to start learning more about the earning potential and how to connect our GPUs. Now, I myself am going through the ETC hash 
and there is a different tutorial for each, but don't fret, it is super easy to set up. By clicking any of these buttons, it will give you a step-by-step -step in order to set this all up. So for instance, this is the one I have chosen for myself. Now, if we pull open my dashboard, we can see the hash rate I'm currently working with in the last 15 minutes because this was just set up currently just over 114 and I have one worker active. Now you will have to set up a worker inside this Binance pool, but we will do that step by step together. Now up at the top, it will show your earnings, but because I have just set up this GPU, it will take approximately one day for this to show up. Inside the account overview, we can see that it is currently hashing for ETC hash inside my Binance pool account and I will show you how this is working currently behind me on my desktop GPU. So it was as simple as clicking how to mine ETC on Binance pool for here. You guys can click if you want to mine something else dependent on your miner. I have a GPU so I'm going to do ETC as it is hard to compete with some of the ASIC miners doing the Bitcoin but we're gonna click on this. Of course, we can see GPU is the mining equipment, a graphics card with more than four gigabytes memory. Now, in order to get my GPU to work like a miner, I will have to download a program called NB Miner, as we can see here, it is recommended by Binance, and it's a program that you just run commands on in order to get this started. As we can see here, I've pulled up the GitHub of NB Miner, and dependent on the operating system you're running on, this is the folders you will download. Once it's downloaded, you will extract it and then run it. All right, so as that is downloading, you're able to then jump back into Binance and start copying these examples. As we can see here with the NB miner, this is what we will copy and put in your mining account. Now you will find this back inside Binance and this is what you will copy and paste in. It's usually the username up at the right hand corner. Now we're gonna grab that string from Binance and get inside the NB miner folder now. Now that we're inside, we'll go down to the start ETC. We're gonna open that up and that's where we're going to paste that string there. Make sure to click file and save. Once that's ready to go, we can double click it and start it up. Once it starts firing up, you should see it logging in to Binance and putting itself to work in that pool. You should give it approximately 10 to 15 minutes for it to update inside your Binance account, but everything should be hooked up and the hash rate is now going towards this pool. Now you can check back in 24 hours to see how much of these rewards you have gotten and even switch up the type of algorithm you want to mine. You can do this all inside the NB miner protocol and there is tutorials for that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this short tutorial on how to put those GPU miners to work inside Binance pools to get some of those crypto rewards. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button and until next time guys, take care.